been a while since we've had a new member of the Dirty Dining 50 Plus Club. That is a short list of places with so many demerits that they earned their own place in infamy. And tonight, Darcy Spears here delivers a new one as part of a Dirty Dining combo platter that includes a convenience store and a high-end strip casino restaurant. Joke all you want about a restaurant inside a gas station, but when the number of demerits reaches the level Mariscos El Tapatio just hit, it's time to get serious. Yes, hi, I'm Darcy Spears from Channel 13. We're here because you guys are on Dirty Dining for the 55 demerit closure you had from the health district. The small cash-only eatery on Pile and Maryland Parkway is inside this Arco AMPM convenience store. It was shut down on May 14th after inspectors found cooked carrots covered in mold, expired hominy, chorizo and ham, and fryer baskets extremely dirty with old food and built-up grease. We want to get your side of the story about what happened with this closure. I don't know. You, you don't know English? Owner Sergio Valencia invites us to ask his customers if they'll help us bridge the language barrier. Any of you guys willing to help translate? No? Are you guys willing to help me translate? No? So we give him one last chance. Is there anything you'd like to say about the violations? No? Do you? No? Okay. Other violations at Mariscos El Tapatio included a lot of potentially hazardous foods at unsafe temperatures. Carnitas, chorizo, ham, sausage, broth, salsa, queso, pozole, raw beef, El Pastor, raw chicken, fish, and beans all had to be thrown out. There was also unwashed avocado mixed in with cut onion and a food handler washing dirty dishware over clean equipment. Some prepared foods were not date labeled and the cook line and steam table were dirty. Despite all that, the restaurant reopened the next day with a zero demerit A grade. On the other end of the dining spectrum, more demerits and a near shutdown. Il Molino, New York at Caesars Palace got a 38 demerit C grade on May 16th. Inspectors saw a food handler touching ready to eat bread with bare hands. Multiple foods were held past their seven day shelf life, including house made bolognese and house made chicken stock. And lots of food was uncovered or improperly stored, making it subject to cross contamination. One example, this cooked spinach was cooling in a sink next to soapy water and sanitizer. Also, can opener blades and slicers were dirty with old food debris and there were multiple small flies throughout the facility. Il Molino previously got a C grade on its unannounced inspection this same time last year. Inspectors warned the restaurant that failure to pass the next one may result in further administrative action. The manager said they've put new measures in place with all their staff to fix what he called silly mistakes that should not have happened. Taco's Kalima Food Truck is a dirty dining repeat offender and our only imminent health hazard closure. Its number four truck was shut down on May 15th for inadequate refrigeration and gross unsanitary conditions. Inspectors discovered approximately 10 pounds of raw beef on the truck that was rancid and spoiled with brownish black rot and a putrid smell. Flies were landing on ready-to-eat onions, avocado, and cutting boards. Fly tape with many dead flies on it was hanging directly above food, and a package of raw pork was submerged in dirty water. Tacos Kalima was back to a zero demerit A the next day. We couldn't reach anyone there for comment. And I've got one more high demerit restaurant to tell you about. Two scoops of Aloha on Paradise near Tropicana. For details on that and the owner's concerns about inconsistent inspectors, head to our website at KTMV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.